our sponsors list is growing. We need to thank Paseo Colorado as well. And today's food sponsor is Del Frisco's Grill. Now it's time for Crown City News with CCN's Palo Alejandria. And now, CCN Crown City News. Your news, your neighborhood starts right now. Hi, Sunita and Mary. Here's a look at some of the headlines making news right here in the San Gabriel Valley. A rash of gang related, what seems to be gang related shootings in northwest Pasadena have many in the community on edge. CCN's Tony Mead has the story. Due to the recent shootings this past January, one of them being right here in Washington Park, police, city council members, and the community came together in an effort to end violence in Pasadena. Within the last two weeks, Police have responded to four shootings, three of which happened in Pasadena City Parks. On January 21st, two people were wounded after a shooting at Washington Park. Police say both victims have been reluctant to provide information. Six days later, a 50-year-old man was shot to death in Villa Park. And just this past Thursday, shots were fired at La Pintoresca Park. Police responded to say the suspect got away. Shortly after that, police also answered calls of shots fired in the area of Fair Oaks Avenue and West Hammond Street, but found no victims. I think everybody here agrees clearly that violence is an issue in Pasadena, um, especially this uptick. It's concerning to hear the police chief uh, call it moderately safe is of concern. At the end of January, District 5 Council Member Victor Gordo requested an urgent hearing for residents, police, and members of the City Council about the violence during the February 2nd City Council meeting. At the meeting, residents discussed their fears and frustrations and learned what police are doing about the shootings. Chief Philip Sanchez says the incidents seem to be gang-related. Staff started to notice an increase in shots fired calls around Community Arms, uh, Los Robles, El Sereno, and it was a mixture of gang activity. Northwest Pasadena resident Daryl Emanuel says he's well aware of the shootings happening in the area and says the violence gets worse when the sun goes down. The neighborhood, it's, it's okay, it's good. It get, it get crazy out the dark. All the shootings last month left one dead and five critically injured. In Pasadena, Tony Mead, CCN.